were here when uh, Kaleidoscope was around. Oh, I remember the Kaleidoscope. Yeah, yeah both over yeah, there, and then. Uh, what I I don't know. Describe my bookstore in my own words. Um, that's just it, it, um, kind of me, I guess. Really, I mean, it's like kind of an extension of my own personality. I love uh, collecting odd things and you know little, little trinkets and and in a way I connect with my own past by doing this too. Yeah, definitely my books are much more than a means of getting money. I mean, I love this. Um, again, to quote somebody else, somebody once said, "When you love what you do, you're not working." Which you know, I do love what I do, so I don't really consider this work. There's some odd angles here, so you cannot just buy ready-made bookshelves. You know, I had to build everything to fit. I'll be sitting here and I'll think, "Hey, you know, I can put a shelf underneath the stairs." You know, that's something I haven't used yet, so I did that. <laughs> Um, I have some very good friends that started off as customers. I just come here and we talk. We talk uh, just stream of consciousness, you know, type type stuff. It's nice to sit and actually read a book sometimes. I mean, this guy, he's not a saint, but, um, but um, he takes care of his mom. And, and, you know, he's probably had to make sacrifices in that respect. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, there have been times when I've just said, well, you know, I wouldn't mind having something for myself, but gotta pay that bill gotta keep the lights on gotta keep the phone operation i try not to you know put one bill off and pay another i try to you know keep everything paid once and sometimes it means you know hey maybe not getting a new pair of shoes or um but uh, you know uh, you gotta sacrifice for what you love and i love my store